It's been a long time. Uh, best GLaDOS impression or worst GLaDOS impression? Pretty sure it's the worst. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Cool Story Clo. Uh, yeah, it has been a long time because I have been busy working my ass off. Very long days, lots of stuff. Diego says hi. I'm not sure what I'm actually allowed to tell you about what I've been doing, but I will give you a hint that will probably get me in trouble. Um, it's a show that's on TV that I've done before, and I may be doing it again. I know that a lot of people really don't like this show, but we'll get into that at another point. We, I, I would like to talk to you guys about that at some point, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Right now, I would like to talk to you about all the fun stuff that uh, has happened in the past month since I made A Cool Story Clo. By the way, they are going to be returning um, as more of like a weekly feature. So don't worry, I will be back more often, I promise. First of all, uh, I totally got all of the awesome stuff that you guys sent me to my P.O. box. I love all of it. I actually made a video a couple weeks ago opening everything. I just have to edit it and put it up, so bear with me. But along with that video, I have a couple other videos I haven't edited or put up. So if you start seeing videos from like my trip to New York, it's because I'm finally getting around to putting them up, and I promise they'll be just as interesting now as they were, well, I can't promise they're gonna be that interesting, but they'll be as interesting as they were when I made them, I guess? Michelle Moreau and I are working on a new show called Chaotic Awesome on the network Bite Size TV, which is bitesizetv.com, and uh, it'll be up really soon. I can't tell you how excited I am. They basically gave us free reign. They gave us a stage and a bunch of stuff, and they're like, just make a show, and so we're just doing what we've always wanted to do, and I, I'm so excited to show it to you guys. We have other hosts such as Christina Ochoa, uh, Marisha Ray, Talison Jaffe. They're all super awesome people. They're very, very smart, and the show is a show that I would absolutely watch every day. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as we enjoy making it. Okay! I think I got most of the stuff out of the way. So there's gonna be two parts to this cool story, Clo. Well, three if you count all the crap that I just did. I would like to tell you guys a little bit about my trip to New Orleans, which uh, I tweeted about incessantly. Uh, I was there with Holly and Jessica. We were there for about a week and we were working out there, but we also took a couple days to just run around and see New Orleans. So um, we went a lot of really awesome places. <laughs> Like, it was, New Orleans is so cool. I will say, as a vegetarian, there's not a whole lot of options for you. Like, you get uh, some fried pickles, you can get some fried potatoes, you can get some fried bread. Just, just put anything in a fryer that doesn't have meat, and there you go, there's a vegetarian meal. But the history is so awesome. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. There's ghosts, there's voodoo, there's all, hey, I'll show you some shit, hang on. We went to a couple voodoo places. I know a lot of them are just hooey, and you know, who knows if all of them are just hooey. But we went to Marie Laveau's, and we, we did a little shopping. Um, I got one of these little amulets. This one, I got a couple of these. This is the one that says, this is called the Dark Fae. Dark Fae. Don't look at the price tag. Yes, I know, I spent a lot of money on this. Um, for the protection and empowerment of sensitive souls and empathic healers for communing with the magic of nature and opening channels to connect with the fae, elven, and related spirits of nature. And even if this is all bullshit, I can't help but feel real special about it. Like, I really like it. I just think it's a cool sentiment. And, you know, maybe it opens your mind a little bit um, because you want it to work. Who knows? I also got one of these guys, a little voodoo doll. Um, I really feel like they should stop marketing these to children. It says, voodoo doll for building self-esteem. Again, Probably doesn't do much, but it is a nice little totem and a nice little reminder when you look at it. You're like, oh, I'm pretty cool. I don't know. I thought it was cute. So one night we moved all of our stuff to another hotel, um, and it's called the Cornstalk Hotel, and it's this mansion, this beautiful, like, New Orleans mansion that they turned into a hotel. Um, so it's kind of like a bed and breakfast. Um, and I was feeling really sick, probably because of all the fried food and beverages that had alcohol in it that made me feel not good. Yes, I, I don't really drink, but I kind of let go. I, I had a couple drinks in New Orleans because we're in New Orleans, and why not? So we, were, had, we had dinner reservations, and I was feeling so sick, so Holly and Jessica went out to go get some vegetarian gumbo, and uh, I was left alone in the Cornstalk Hotel. I 
I, I believe in ghosts. I like ghosts. I, I've loved the paranormal since I was a kid. I always felt like there's a scientific explanation for it that we can't, we don't really know yet. And I also feel like I'm very skeptical. So I will never assume a place is haunted until I have a very clear um, experience. Regardless, you know, I'm lying in bed and I'm just like, oh, I'm not gonna throw up, I'm not gonna throw up. And then I hear an explosion, like, explosion and then all of the lights go out not just in my room out the window the entire city the lights just go out and I'm just sitting there going I am about to die so I waited 10-15 seconds for the shockwave or the aliens or whatever uh, to happen and nothing happened but I was just sitting in the dark in a haunted hotel I called Holly and Jessica to make sure they were okay. They were fine. They were bringing back food. It was raining now, and then like there's thunder and lightning, and so they get back to the hotel. The, the purse, the manager of the hotel, is coming around, handing out little candles and like being super sweet and friendly. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. And he, they were totally nice. Um, and so we just hung out in a haunted hotel with the lights off for a couple hours, and then we were super disappointed when the lights came back on but I will tell you something that happened after the lights came back on. So Holly and Jessica and I are just lying in bed. Um, Jessica goes to brush her teeth and then she comes back. Um, but you know, you can see into the bathroom. So like we were basically having a conversation the entire time. Holly suddenly sits up in bed and she goes, what the, what the fuck was that? And we're like, what are you talking about? She's like, no, no, I, I just smelled something. Did you guys just spray perfume? And we're like, no, of course we didn't. We've been sitting here this whole time. And like Jessica just went to go brush her teeth. And Holly's like, this isn't funny, guys. Why are you laughing? I, do you, did you, you sprayed something. You sprayed something. And Jessica's like, what does it smell like? And Holly's like, it smells like, like old perfume, like old lady perfume, like roses. Did you, did you guys spray something? She's flipping out. And Holly is like the most skeptical out of all of us. And um, she was very shaken. So we go to bed, we wake up the next day, uh, Holly and Jessica go to check out. The woman behind the counter is like, hey, did you guys have any ghosty experiences? And Holly's like, yeah, I smelled some perfume. It's, it was really weird. And she's like, did it smell like roses? Holly's like, yeah. She's like, it's Grandma Rose. <laughs> Grandma Rose! <laughs> it's so on the nose, it's hilarious. Anyway, so that's our ghost experience. Um, it was it was a really really fun trip. It was actually what, probably top ten, top top five trips maybe of my life. It was really really fun. All right, let's answer some questions. At Book of Sir, hey Rachel asks, what's your most epic shit? I painted my nails. Why did I think Cheetos were a good idea? Story. Did that even make sense? Yes, Rachel, it did. I go through manicures like I go through pairs of underwear which is like one every three days. No, I'm kidding. I just really can't, I mean, honestly, I just can't have nice lady things. I'll go to photo shoots and these girls will be like, oh yeah, no, I haven't been eating carbs for about a month for this photo shoot. I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have had that donut for dinner. Or maybe I could have gone without the second one. At the Titan Zero asks, how does one get over shyness slash low self-esteem? Well, uh, the Titan, here's your answer right here. Look, I think everybody in the world has and suffers from insecurity, some sort of insecurity. Um, it's just sort of part of our DNA. And so once we learn to work with it and just sort of let it just be there and try to ignore it for the most part, or at least acknowledge it's there and, and go forward knowing it's there, I think that the more that you play with it and fuck with it, I think that it can sometimes get worse and get stuck in your brain, especially have, if you have like an obsessive brain like I do. Um, ultimately, like the best thing that I've found is to just not care, just not care. Just, just focus on the good things and eventually your insecurities sort of fade away into the background. At L. Estqua asks, how do you get out of your head, neg negative thoughts, and get motivated to be awesome? It's kind of weird. It's, this is similar to the last question, 
But at the same time, it's a little different because I do suffer from depression. I suffer from really severe anxiety. Michelle describes me as the Chloe train and that I just keep moving forward. And maybe this is not the healthiest way to be. Um, but the more that I continue to move forward, the better I feel. And if I stop, I kind of feel like, Ugh, I feel like I'm not doing enough. I mean, ultimately we should all be motivated to be putting good stuff into the world. And if the only good thing that you can put out into the world is a smile at somebody who's having a shitty day, you're still doing better than a lot of people. So feel good about that and then use that to motivate you to do more cool stuff. At C. McMahon asks, how do you deal with people whom you've never met that feel like they know you, whether from here or other media? I don't know, dealing isn't the right word because for me, I feel like people who will put effort into sending me messages or tweeting at me or tumbling at me or whatever, I feel like they're, they're friends of mine. We appreciate the same sort of things and it's nice to know that they appreciate the things that I do. So I don't, it's not about dealing. I'm very happy to meet people and hang out with people that, um, that have tweeted or, or uh, know me, you know, and I'd love to get to know them too. Oh my God, there's so many good questions. It's hard to answer all of these. I'll have to do this again. At Toberoni asks, do you actually cringe whenever someone randomly shouts out points? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, guys, that's it for this cool story, Chloe. Diego is coming over because he's sensing the end is nigh. Um, but I will see you guys very soon. Check out Chaotic Awesome on Bite Size TV. Oh, and if you're going to be at Planet Comic Con, I'm going to be at Planet Comic Con. So let's, let's go hang out and do stuff. I don't know. I think I've got a booth. I'm really bad at these things. I don't really know what I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go have fun. So hope you guys are having an awesome um, day, depending on when I put this video up. And don't do drugs. Unless they're the fun ones. Don't do those either. Unless they're really fun.